Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Nothing changed really from the yesterday condition of crypto space. We still pretty much in red and uh, although the relative change of the coins price a bit different but the absolute values are the same and for those who still don't think that we are in the bear market just look at those numbers of the down from the all-time high positions for most of the coins we are like 90 80 percent down and actually all the other changes for seven days 30 days are pretty much double digit red for most of the coins so not so happy situation but if you would think of maybe buy some more at this time this is an opportunity guys so let's look at this closer some news and price action you're watching a crypto hamster channel let's go let's go Although this time is not so many news about crypto, at least those news news which would be considered important, but I would like to share a couple of still with you and probably those are a bit positive in this um, quite depressing time. So first is that Iran legitimizes crypto mining industry and Bitcoin price spikes to 24,000 locally. Um, it's actually an interesting thing because uh, now people in Iran can mine Bitcoin and don't be afraid that it will make them uh, some kind of criminals or something like that, throw them to do that. So, and the thing that people actually have to trade it to very high prices, like $24,000, it's amazing. So they actually have this all-time high higher than the, the general than hype or, or, or out of the world in December 2017. So if some of you can sell uh, bitcoins to people in Iran, I congratulate you. This is a very nice opportunity to make some profit. Uh, second thing is that about ETF, you know, uh, there's a new commissioner in uh, SEC um, and probably this may mean that SEC will be much more positive to Bitcoin future ETFs and many um, sort of rumors about that I wouldn't say that it's, it's 100% uh, already defined or something but still um, it says that uh, like that person is really positive towards the cryptocurrencies and blockchain technologies and we may see a very sad, not sudden, I would say SEC wasn't really negative about Bitcoin and crypto, but it would be much more, even even much more positive uh, than it is now, or at least it was yesterday. So, all good. Now let's, let's look at Bitcoin price. So yesterday I showed you this sort of patterns. Still we are in the same uh, side action, side price, price action, so we didn't go down. Well, is it good or not? In my opinion, I would better prefer it to go down faster and then go up because, well, this doesn't bring anything to us uh, except that it will be like accumulating in this area for a while. But we already had it before for like a month in this, uh, maybe a little less than a month uh, in this region. So what, what it does mean to have even more uh, bought Bitcoin will spike again. So we will stay here until September 3rd, 30th or something. I would personally wait for it to drop uh, to the previous low where it was like 6,200 or something like that. Maybe like $200, $300 lower than uh, current, current price. And then in my opinion, it's not, not so that time to buy. Also the same for altcoins because it's like a strong level here. I don't think it will go lower and then if it would go lower, I would probably consider to uh, use this uh, dollar cost averaging technique. This used to be working usually and um, the idea is that I don't think that this will stay here for long. Probably uh, will not be in the loss even if it will go down for a long time. 
but again uh, please make your decision by your own uh, do your own big, uh, research and um, make your decision um, without thinking that this is a financial advice please because it's not um, also the altcoins you remember i had this uh, virtual portfolio with uh, three thousand uh, dollars which i bought like august 31st and then i just hold those coins you see most of them are in very red area uh, basically they returned a little close to the previous lows and uh, just a few of them including like Polo chain is still in the profit and such neo and nam and bitcoin deep data they are close to zero actually nam uh, and neo looks really nice so maybe they are like stronger than the rest of the market at the moment but if they will go down to like 15 the nail of neo for 15 dollars probably it is nice time to buy a little more because you see it showed nice rally to 24 25 dollars so I think it's a good opportunity to, together with all the other huge gainers like Nano, Icon, Longchain and, and all the others. But still this is a nice indicator for, for overall market for the like, uh, in my opinion, strong coins which dropped quite a lot. It, I don't know, it was 30, $35,000 and now it's 37, but the, the minimum uh, was 37, so it's like $8,000. It means uh, like 15%. It's rather huge. So well, it's 11 for the from the this uh, is 3.6. Yeah, sorry, 30. What it was 35 thousand dollars. But still, like around 10, 15%. Um, pretty much of the loss, I would say. And in my opinion, it still go up. But it's sort of an indicator how the altcoin markets behaves these days these days and some other things which i would think should be considered this is you know the um, bitcoin addresses with the bigger numbers of bitcoins uh, and the first hundred just look at the first hundred of them and look at those dates of um, the last um, uh, like uh, deposits for bitcoins uh, there are a few of them with 7th of September, but not so much of the Bitcoin, so it doesn't really have uh, shown here. Uh, so those which don't have, um, like, uh, which are not associ associated with uh, uh, some kind of exchange or collective wallet, uh, I would say we still can find a few. And, uh, well, I wouldn't consider this because this is uh, one month, so recent month uh, deposits. So I would look at those which were depositing last week, for example, within the week. So this is, for example, the, sorry, it's a wallet. So I've seen some, for example, this one, you see 10,000, nearly 10,000 bitcoins on September 7th deposited. One more I've seen here. Uh, okay. Here, 5,000, 500 Bitcoin, September 7th. This was done a little bit earlier, but actually we can look at. I don't know, we can look at. Um, 27, 6,000 Bitcoins uh, were the last of that time of uh, September 7th. So it's not that um, most of them are selling, so you don't see the red withdraw withdrawals from them. Basically, it is like they are still keeping the same st states and even some of them are you know, um, adding Bitcoin so it's, it's not that bad situation I don't think that whales are sort of selling out I think that they are more accum accumulating uh, state and soon we will see either drop again and V-shape reversal or everybody will be tricked and we will see the growth, growth from this state We'll see. So that's a short update for today, guys. Please subscribe and like if you like this content. And I hope to see you all in the next videos from tomorrow. Stay tuned. Goodbye.